was and what a time it was, it was A time of innocence, a time of confidences Long ago it must be, I have a photograph Preserve your memories, they're all that's left you Throughout California history, people have always seen the promise of Chula Vista. First, there were the growers, attracted by Chula Vista's ideal climate. They turned the area into a major supplier of citrus. Groves and packing houses covered the South Bay. By 1911, the town had 550 residents. Thelma Kranz was one of them. She was born in Chula Vista in 1906. I have a feeling of maternity for the city. Thelma spent 40 years teaching school in the area. After my education here, to come back to Chula Vista and teach and help other youngsters was a, is something that I'm extremely proud of. By the 1920s, Third Avenue had already become the center of commerce. These early movies were taken between 1926 and 1928. My father had the uh, miniature golf course that he built here, and I think so it was 1929. I think it was the second one in uh, Southern California. The modern history of Chula Vista begins in the 1940s. It started just like all other places, and uh, building was with World War II. Okay. When Roar uh, moved into uh, what was the old Chula Vista airport, Roar Industries turned Chula Vista into a boom town. When I came in 57, I couldn't find a place to live. I couldn't find a place to rent or buy either one at that time. There was such an influx at that time between 55, 56, 57. More people meant more business. In 1962, a brand new Marston store anchored the Chula Vista Shopping Center. Today, the old Marston store is a Broadway. And in downtown Chula Vista, Third Avenue remains a center for commerce. You bet, you bet it is. And we have everything here. Anything you want, you get it here. For the past 40 years, Kitty Rosso has been serving up great Italian food from her La Bella restaurant. She is one of the area's most colorful characters. I had eight children, and six of them were born before I was 24 years old. When my husband passed away and I was a widow, and then I met Tony. And you know the story, I knew him two hours and I asked him to marry me. He didn't have a chance. Okay, maybe it has nothing to do with Chula married. Vista's history. But it is a great story. When I we went to get our license, couldn't find a place to park. And Tony says, you know what, you stay here, I'm going inside to get the license. And I'll be right out, which he did. He come out, he says, hey, what's your name? Well, see, he called me honey, you can't put that on the license. According to Sandag, the current population of Chula Vista is 146,407. The dreams of this city's founding fathers have been realized, and the future of the area looks very bright with a new Olympic training center under construction. The future of Chula Vista will be built on a solid foundation that was laid over a century ago.